Nigeria's Defense Space Administration says it's inching closer now to realizing its dream of producing a space vehicle. 41 officers drawn from the Army, Navy and Air Force have just concluded a training on space engineering. Our correspondent Sifan Nesen reports that the Chief of Defense Space Administration, Major General Emmanuel White, is pushing for the employment of space products in the fight against insurgency in the country. The Defense Space Administration was established to develop and operate military space technologies, support the Nigerian military operations and other law enforcement agencies through the use of satellite technology. The head of the organization is gunning for the effective deployment of satellite technology and other space products in the fight against insurgents in the country. Intelligence is quite important, geospatial intelligence. What is happening on ground that um, ordinarily, or especially in the forest, that ordinarily we might not know, space can give us that capability. So it's very, very important that um, we have things like this ongoing. It's not just um, about putting boots on ground all the time and endangering our people when we have uh, automations and space capabilities that can be a force multiplier to few people to do the job. As a first step towards this goal, the Space Administration embarked on a training on space technology engineering in January. 60 participants, 41 drawn from the Army, Navy and Air Force, were groomed on various aspects of space technology. And now they have produced several designs for space products. Right now, as I speak, we have a team working with Niche Concert, um, designing um, Husser payloads for the military, and uh, two satellites that will soon be launched by Niche Concert. So, what we do for knowledge's sake, we'll incorporate some of these uh, graduates into that design team so that they can also know what it means to actually design um, a spacecraft. What's left is funding for the project so they can become reality. Sifon ACN TVC News, Abuja.